Duststorm is an Interceptor class warrior, which means she can do lots of damage in a very short space of time, but critically at the cost of defensive abilities. While one of her primary weapons is a sniper rifle, she isn't a dedicated sniper and is more effective as a hit and run bot. Armed with the Omni Damage Droma Blaster Rifle and Praxa Pistols, as well as the Long Range Shield Damage Sniper Rifle, Duststorm is one formidable con. The Blaster Rifle's Electro Nova S Tech deploys a time bomb at the target's position. As the explosion is delayed, it's best used against stationary or groups of enemies for maximum effect. Duststorm's pistols have the Dynapelter s tech providing commanders with a strong stun attack which inhibits enemy motion, equipment deployment, or even changing form. It's a good choice when facing down weak targets, as the equipment enables Duststorm and her fellow Decepticons to finish them off with no remorse. Finally, we have the Sniper Rifle's shield-ravaging Mesh Smasher s tech If this devastating weapon deletes a target's shield meter to zero, it opens targets up to additional damage that comes from its secondary hit an explosion that damages the shield and spark of any other enemies close by. When activated, Dust Storm's projectile accelerator equipment increases all damage against enemies in close proximity. This piece of equipment is ideally used with pistols, which allows her to stun with the Dynapelter s tech before dealing out the enhanced damage that projectile accelerator provides. Commanders should remember that projectile accelerator works at close range, so don't bother using in conjunction with her sniper rifle over distance. Ammunition Bridge simply reduces the reload time of the blaster rifle and pistols, but not the sniper rifle. This piece of equipment underlines why Duststorm is not an expert sniper. At long range, commanders may look to use Ammunition Bridge with the blaster rifle, which will enable Duststorm to build up the s tech faster. As a pointer, it's beneficial for Duststorm to use Ammunition Bridge at long range in order to build up the s tech meter quicker, or use the equipment at close range with pistols, which will enable her to dish out more damage in a shorter amount of time. Using this in combination with the projectile accelerator makes Death Storm extremely deadly with her pistols, and it's for this reason that she's a great bot for hit and run attacks. The final piece of equipment, Shockwave Round, simply causes the next sniper rifle attack to apply a knockdown effect to the target. Warriors in vehicle form can't be knocked down, so it's only beneficial when used against enemies in robot form. Although typically, a single target effect when used in conjunction with the sniper rifle's Mesh Smasher s tech Shockwave rounds will knock down anyone caught in its blast, potentially affecting an entire team of enemies with a single hit. Focus is a good stat for Dust Storm to increase because a lot of her burst comes from primary attacks. Omni damage is a good statistic to increase in combination with Focus, as most of her damage will come from the pistols and blaster rifle. Commanders looking to play her more defensively should throw stat points at Spark Strength. This will not only allow Dust Storm to survive that little bit longer, but it will also help protect her from any shield bypassing abilities as well. So, looks can be deceptive, but Storm's exactly what you'd expect from the vehicle form. A hit and run con that can get in there quick, lock down the unprepared, then she's got the tools to hurt the enemy from near or far. But watch out, she can't take a lot of damage before heading to the med bay.